I do a lot of performing both as a soloist and as a collaborator with, with other faculty members, especially my wife. There's a lot of thought process that has to go on in preparing the performance itself. Studying a score away from the piano is crucial, actually, to, to a really developed and mature performance. Composers of different eras have varying degrees of instructions written in their music as to how they want it performed. For instance, Bach has very little, and so we have much more wide-ranging versions of pieces of Bach in performance than we do, say, of Debussy, who's very, very specific about how he wants certain things to sound or what the performer should do. A lot of people look at a piece of music and, and think, okay, this, this is a piece of art, but actually this is just a transcription of a piece of sound art. We recreate that art in, in time, essentially. We end up performing in colleges a lot because there aren't a lot of places that have two nice instruments, and colleges tend to be those places. Of course, Carnegie Hall has two pianos <laughs> that we could use.